Okay, today we're going to talk about, well, we're going to show a demonstration of the two 3D printed TV robots that I did based on this original wind-up TV robot. Where I tried to get the same look and I even did my own uh, lenticular flip screen. So you can see the original toy, which I did a video on, changes from Ultraman to this dragon thing. And then these particular ones, you can just see by looking at the two, have it changed from a, a Robbie and B9 driving a cool old car versus uh, the robot hut outside building. And they go, they made both these uh, battery operated. So I'll try to remember to put a link to uh, this original toy down below in case you want to check out which what inspired the whole thing. I also did videos on how to how I uh, 3D modeled all the parts for this and even a short tutorial on how to just basically 3D model and I did a build video where I actually assembled this one in uh, real time let's move the camera angle to where I can get more in the screen better just start with one of them here huh so I put the uh, switch on the back that has a center off so I can actually walk forward or backward this is a claw foot walker but the claw is hidden so it actually looks like a biped walker so there's your, your backward and you'll notice there's no eyes lit in reverse but when you go forward then you can have the, uh, the eyes light and you can see the screen flips between the two images the lenticular did a uh, video on how and where to do the lenticulars too. Dirt cheap, uh, less than four bucks. Was shipping less than six bucks. This is the orange one, the very first one I made, the one that I did a video of the live build on, and it's the same uh, same thing. It's got a reverse. In the live build, I just had an on-off switch, but I took it back apart and put in the uh, three-way switch. And it has the same lenticular flip screen action. So there you have it. 3D printed lenticular flip TV screen robots. I will have... Um, the files for this project up on Thingiverse at some point depending on when I have the time and when I get Thingiverse working so you might uh, check the description box down below because when I get it there I'll include the link 